Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I have a great pleasure to share with you unboxing first look of a new brand, a new knife uh, that I recently got. Big thanks to, to my friend who helped me down uh, track one of these because uh, yes, it is a little bit problematic to, to get the standard uh, Stonewash version right now here in Europe. Most uh, retailers have, have only the special editions ones uh, that uh, are released on a year basis so with the graphics and uh, laser engraved work and anodization so this will be the spartan uh, blade uh, harzy folder the the large one the model number is f sf5 uh, sv stands for stonewashed this is the, the og the traditional the standard version uh, without any kind of uh, DLC or uh, laser engraved graphics comes in a standard paper box so uh, let's talk a little bit about the company so the the Spartan Blade Works uh, were founded in 2008 uh, by Mike Carey and Curtis Iovito both of them are uh, veterans have established a service uh, for more than 40 years combined in the United States uh, Army and uh, also Marines and Special Forces so they are uh, decorated uh, uh, soldiers and uh, in 2008 they uh, band together and founded the, uh, the Spartan uh, Blades LCC so uh, they are uh, focusing on uh, some really quality high-end uh, stuff and uh, on this one they they asked uh, the designer William W. Uh, Hosey Jr. who is uh, a well-established uh, knife maker and Hall of Fame uh, of uh, knife makers of the United States and uh, as you can see this is uh, one of those traditional Halsey, Halsey designs that uh, were introduced uh, way back when and companies like, like CRKT and Gerber did uh, collaborate uh, with this great uh, knife maker and had their iterations of the Halsey folder uh, so and this one here is uh, the version that was designed for Spartan Blades so uh, we have a full titanium construction with only the blade, uh, the, the pivot pivot screw and uh, blade stop are made out of steel. So uh, let me give you the, uh, the, the specifications. So we have an overall length of 22.7 uh, centimeters, this is 8.9 inches. Overall length, the blade is 10 centimeters or 4 inches. Blade width is 2.6 centimeters or 1 inch, thickness is 4 millimeters or 0 0.15 inches uh, with a hand length of 12.4 centimeters or 4.9 inches uh, with a thickness of 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. Uh, this knife was awarded uh, the, the Blade American Made Knife of the Year in 2016 at uh, Blade Show and it is really a, a true iconic tactical folder in my opinion and also great for EDC and the utility task of course as far as construction goes uh, the period assembly we have two large uh, brass washers frame lock really nice uh, really nice thumb studs that purposefully grab your finger so this part here is probably could be used as a glass breaker I know if it was intended like this but yeah the pocket clip is a banded titanium with a medium stiffness and with a nice arrow uh, uh, engraved. This knife has a really nice generous lanyard hole so for all your lanyard needs. 
open standoff constructions. The finish on this beautiful blade uh, is uh, stone wash with a really nice uh, polishing. It's made out of uh, CPM S35VN, if you did not see that right there. We have also the Spartan logo. And the other side we have the, the signature of William W. Halsey. Functional jimping on the top. Everything is nicely chamfered. So there are no sharp corners whatsoever. The frame lock cutout is nicely made inside, so nothing will snag under the pocket clip. The handles uh, scales are made of the pure 6AL4V titanium. Also the screws, the, the, the plate here, the cover plate, the pocket clip and also the top studs. I have Excel size hand, so it feel, fits me really nicely. So this is a, at 8.9 inches or nine, uh, in, almost nine inches is a, a decently sized uh, full size tactical folder. Let me show you the sharpness. Yeah, this is nice and sharp. Let's see the pro pocket profile to show you the how much it will be sticking out. Really nice. You can grab it without any problems, and the smooth uh, titanium underneath will help you to insert the knife without any problems will not snag or or shred your uh, pocket of your trousers or jeans so as far as variants goes uh, like i mentioned you have you have two uh let's say basic variants one is this uh, in my opinion uh, the best for edc overall edc use this is the the stonewash version it will really nicely uh, hide any kind of light scratching and so on. Also, um, also your uh, your fingerprints. There is also a full DLC, black DLC uh, coated version. And then of course you have uh, different anodization and uh, combinations uh, without uh, with the Damascus uh, uh, blade and uh, titanium scales. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, Spartan Blades uh, do release every year a limited edition uh, series uh, in which they produce four uh, unique uh, unique variants of the of the scale uh, with laser engraved. And, well, I don't know if only laser engraved, but with combined with machine. But uh, they use uh, different kind of graphics and so on. So if you if you like something more, uh, let's say fancy. Then you can uh, check out. They have also few variants that uh, look like are uh, standard. Uh, one is the one is a, a blue and one is a green and diced uh, handle scales with the different graphics. But uh, basically, the best way how to how to approach this is to check your uh, favorite Spartan Blades uh, dealer and see uh, what versions from which year they have on stock. Price-wise, uh, the basic version costs 465 US dollars. That is direct pricing from uh, Spartan Blades. Here in Europe, you have to pay a little bit more. Uh, it is in the realm of 550 to, to 600 uh, euros, depending on the dealer. And then it goes up uh, depending on the, the configuration, uh, if it has Damascus or not. So overall, uh, not uh, inexpensive, but uh, in my opinion, uh, for that kind of money, you are getting a, a really, really decent uh, knife 
that will serve you really really well really nice quality materials s45 vn i have to say that uh one more thing about the the design so this is the version 2 the version 1 had a uh, small uh, pivot screw on this side and had a uh, uh, stabilizer bar uh, something like strider n and uh, uh, hinderer is using for the all travel uh, stop now with the version 2 they incorporated it really nicely in this uh, second large pivot now it mirrors the front part and it will nicely help you with over travel uh, this frame lock has no steel insert maybe version 3 will have but certainly uh, for standard use you don't need uh, any kind of that no blade play whatsoever this is to be expected at this price point and uh, large uh, surface of the of the washers does help with this i forgot to mention that they uh, say that the the blade is um, double deep cryo treatment has so yeah okay now let's see a few size comparisons i brought out uh, a few selection of my uh, tactical knives so uh, let's start with uh, my old and trusty uh, strider smf now let's continue with emerson commander this is the standard uh, full-size version no mini no micro no super as you can see they are similarly sized then of course 710 has to be in the picture also so it's, in my opinion one of the uh, one of the nicest uh, tactical style folders that uh, Benchmade ever made nice slim and sleek okay now let's continue with the Shirogoro uh, the 95 flipper also known as turtle configuration from china we have here the v this is the chimera one of the more expensive stuff from v of course and a williams design this is the hisatsu folder from CRKT okay now let's see some more common uh, designs or folders so here is the benchmade uh, large or big reptilian the red model one here's the bug out paramilitary two so basically this should be around the military size unfortunately i don't still don't have uh, any military model but uh stay tuned because uh spiderco did announce the military 2 uh, with uh my carta so i will be adding that in my collection and now they will have a larger counterpart okay here is the cvv elementum and qsp penguin See some spider coast a beautiful all around EDC knife can be used also in tactical scenarios. The spider co endura here is also the delica. Let's 
let's see, Protech TR 4.1. This will be a little bit larger since it's a really nice large tactical folder and of course uh, also cold steel representing the Recon 1 which in my opinion is a really great uh, tactical folder for a decent amount of money sorry about that so, and of course let's put in the picture also the peanut and the cable adoption folding hunter and there will be one more uh, one of my oldest EDC knives that I have in my collection that was not featured in my most used knives because I forgot about it this is a, a Gerber Harzi uh, I don't know the, the name of this knife, maybe Air Ranger or something like that. The small one, uh, I did try to polish it out back in the days. Right on Teflon washer, so yeah, you can see that the heritage of uh, the Harzi design is still there. And hopefully, if I can, I will try to track down more designs from this great uh, knife maker and make more uh, videos in the future. But for now, uh, this will be going into my pocket as my EDC, uh, since it was basically uh, a gift from my parents for my birthday. So I will be using it and uh, enjoying this really nice uh, EDC tactical folding knife. Okay. So if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can, of course. If I subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And I now uh, realize I forgot to, uh, to mention the weight. So the weight is 170.5 grams or six ounces. So really lightweight uh, in comparison for what you are getting in size wise. Okay, so that was the last bit of information. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.